and all the way through, and we can now see why. Terrific little performer he is. And he comfortably made the weight. Jamie McDonald didn't. Will that have a, an effect as we move closer towards the second half of this European Bantamweight Championship fight? The noise is great here in the Doncaster Dome. The atmosphere electric, the action very tasty. Good work at the start of the round for McDonald. I think he has to try to meet Jamoy, try pushing him back may not be easy, but you don't want to be driven back yourself, you want to meet him head on with good solid punches, that's it. And we've said Jamoy's travelled as an amateur, he went to Spain, Poland, Romania, Italy, France, but McDonald has as well, down to London, where he won those titles against Ian Napper, and out to south of France, under dog that night against Jerome Arno, and he came through. Hard man too, McDonald. Just feel he has to get his punches off a little bit quicker. He's still countering too often, allowing Jamoy to get the punches off first. I'd like to see him step in with a jab. Just don't allow Jamoy to take the initiative quite so often. That's, that's exactly what you want. Step in with the shots, get them off a little bit earlier. Body shots from McDonald and just trying to back up Jamoy for the first time. He's got hold of the centre of the ring. Can he push his challenger back? Because that might be a real moment of transition in this fight. I don't know if he's strong enough to drive him back, but it has to meet him head on. Can't allow this forward drive of Jamoy. Uppercut from Jamoy, and there's the right again, but McDonald shows the good chin. And every punch he throws has been roared by his passionate Doncaster fans. You know, the way they're exchanging punches, I, think, I just think sheer physical strength could decide the outcome here. Who could just hang in that little bit longer? But Donald looking much better in this round. A little bit of shoulder for your comment. Now, Dennis Hobson angry in the corner. You know, is Shamoy an on-top fighter? We don't know what he's like in the late rounds when the body shots are flying in if McDonald can keep them coming in but it's been a very impressive start from Stefan Jamoy no doubt about that these right hands and the work rate bit of blood to the right side of the head for Jamoy just losing his grip a little bit towards the end of this round a lot of good work in this round from McDonald's who just wants to dig in, the round's almost over, just grip the teeth, keep firing the punches. In close rounds, it can be decided in the last 20 seconds or so. Round six. Very close-knit family, his twin brother Gavin meant to be on the bill tonight. And they do everything together, as we found on Ed Robinson's very interesting insight on our feature on Ringside show this week. A long way to go in this European Bantamweight Championship. The silver and pink of Jamie McDonald and the black, yellow and red, the Belgium colours of the proud Stefan Jamoy. Jamoy trying to use the uh, skills a little bit more here, not just charging forward, little feints, steps in, back out. Trying to use a little bit more technique. Again, Jamoy looking to the referee. He's done that several times. He's looked out the corner. Nice when you see the other guy complaining. And that was after he was caught by a body shot. His corner saying, come in, put the pressure on. Forward, forward. Still, McDonald can't really back him off, keep the fiery Belgium off him entirely. But he's staying with him, staying strong. Jamie McDonald, this is such an important night in the whole shape of his career. And he's showing tremendous spirit, Jamoy. Just keeps pressing forward. Having to force a little bit now, obviously both feeling the pace. Jamoy at the moment digging in that little bit more. Good left hook. It's a massive chance 
for Jamoy, who many people in Belgium believe is, is one of their great fighters. I don't produce a lot. The country here on the border of Germany, where he's from. Just by Liège. But they uh, really fancy their chances that he's going to go on and become a world champion. Good body shot again for Jamie McDonald just after the corner break. He caught him. I think they're calling the short war. Let's bring in Bob May. Bob, tell us about that. Yeah, it looks a perfectly good body shot from where we were sitting, but referee Rob, Robin Delpierre called it low. He called it low, the referee. But as Bob said, it looked pretty good to us. Right hand from McDonald. Well, that just upset him a little, Jim. Yeah, well, he showed out to the referee a couple of times, but there was nothing wrong with that body shot. The referee didn't get the best view of it, but I think he called it low because of the reaction from Jamoy, but it wasn't low. Lovely body shot. A lot in this round. Spencer Oliver, how are you seeing things? Yeah, I've got it going all level after six rounds there. Uh, McDonald for me just stealing that last round, and I think it's all in the balance going into the second half of this contest. In comes Jamoy with the right hand. McDonald puts his clusters together. There's accuracy from the Yorkshireman. And he just shakes his right hand there, Chamoy, as if to steady himself again. Is it getting a little hot after his hot start? But Jamoy, OK, McDonald did push him back, but Jamoy is too quick now to complain to the referee. I felt like his work's been a little bit forced the last couple of rounds. I wonder, is he just used up too much steam? Still showing plenty of spirit, still trying to come forward. But the smoothness is gone. Good time now if Jamie McDonald can step on the gas. Good combinations from Jamie McDonald. There's a drive here. Maybe there's a feeling inside that ring that he's taken what Shamoy's had to offer, including a little wobbly moment earlier in the fight. But he's now beginning to believe that he's got the physical strength to get the job done, and these body shots are indeed just making Jamoy feel and think not slow but they are triggering home but well, the longer this fight goes obviously the pace is going to slow and McDonald will find a little bit more time to get the punches off and I think that's happening in this round he's just getting a little bit more time to get those shots off and he can get the leverage into the punches now he was really being pressurised earlier on not producing quality work there's a, an increase in his quality now just because he's getting that little split second longer. Chamoy caught him with the right hand about 30 seconds ago, but he's only got nine knockouts on the slate. Not a big, big puncher. McDonald has seven, but he's naturally the stronger man at five foot eight with a two inch reach advantage as well. And these body shots rattling home. One to the chin, too. This is a really good round for Jamie McDonald. This is the easiest to hit that I've seen Stefan Jamoy all night long. I think he's struggling now. The tank is maybe emptying a little bit. We'll see if the second wind is going to arrive. But he's really having to dig in here to stay with McDonald in this round. McDonald's best round of the fight so far. Throwing hurtful punches now. Body shots from Shamoy just takes a big gulp of air, a breath. You can see the gun shield there. Is it getting harder for the challenger? We talk about fighting at home. In the later stages of this kind of fight, it's a big plus. Spencer Oliver, it's a... A wonderful fight, but is it advantage McDonald now? Well, it certainly is an intriguing fight, isn't it? It all started off with Jamoya really dominating for me in the first couple of rounds, but McDonald now looking the stronger of the two, looks to be starting to ooze a little bit of confidence, and Jamoya for the first time took a big gulp of air in that seventh round, and for me, McDonald just starting to turn this around. Five to go, European title, the prestigious belt that you saw earlier, Spencer holding on the line and 
Tip for tap at the start of this. Yeah, well, we're speaking about the second win from Jamoy. He's trying to find that now. But good quality punches now from McDonald's. He's, he's going to actually lose a point if he's not careful. He's been one for pushing a couple of times. And that was the kind of pushing with the forehead, if you like. So the last thing you want in this kind of fight is a point deduction. Tries to work the body, Shamoy, but good defence there, tucking the elbows in from McDonald. He has been caught around the facial area, Jamie McDonald, but tucking up nicely. Jabs working well, putting punches together nicely to McDonald. Have to take a body shot back. Just not quite as much fire now from Shamoy. And a right hand just steadies him. Back he comes with one, though. Yeah, McDonald's spending a bit more time on the front foot now, and I think that's very important here. Lovely left hand. Right hand, sorry. Right cross. Yeah, good shot. Shamoy trying to back him up onto those ropes again. This is the third choice opponent. Was one of Malik Bouzian, then Ivan Pozo. Well done, matchmakers, for getting Stefan Shamoy over. What a test this is for the European champion from Doncaster. If you look at the space, McDonald's finding now he's not under anything like the same pressure. Lovely right hand. Right hand on a body shot, and again. Still, Shamoy stands firm. This is where you get the good action with the little men, Jim, because they're not concussive punches. Yeah, and we said that if this goes to the wire and, and grit is required, that, that Jamie McDonald wouldn't be found wanting, and that's how it's turning out. He's turning this fight in his favour just by sheer grit. All that hard running in the mornings, Jamie McDonald, but a right hand from Jamoy, he's not finished yet, and we don't know how the three judges are scoring things.